I'm gay. What? <laughs> I know. I'm sorry you found out on Pop Sugar. Oh my gosh. I'm Billy Eichner. And I'm Luke McFarlane. We're here with Pop Sugar playing Flipside. Sense of humor. Hot face. <laughs> when they're not gay. That's a problem. That's a big problem. <laughs> a very thirsty Instagram. Oh, very, very good answer. I'll say someone who is unhappy in their job. Mm, good answer. <laughs> None of them are famous, so yeah. it's not gonna be interesting. Yeah, I know. Jim Parsons. <laughs> oh gosh, that's part of life. Be kind. That always sucks. Try not to become infatuated with unavailable people. Very sad day at Pop Sugar. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> First friend I came out to, was and is still my best friend to this day, my friend Heath. We came out to each other at the same time, right after we graduated high school. He's still my best friend to this day, 27 years later. Mine was uh, my older sister. And the second one was, was Jim Parsons. <laughs> <laughs> and then we started dating, but he didn't like me back. Yeah. yeah, we got into a really horrible triangle with Jim Parsons oh, where gosh. he didn't like Luke, I loved Jim, he didn't love me, it was a whole thing. Wow, huh. The same guy, Heath, because we came out to each other at the same exact time. I don't know if anybody has. I'm gay. What? <laughs> I know, I'm sorry you found out on Pop Sugar. Oh my gosh. Friendster. Right. We're old. We're old. Friendster, in the gay world, there was manhunt.net, which was Grinder before Grinder existed. But it wasn't on your phone, it was on your desktop. <laughs> I once had a therapist who had a manhunt keychain on his desk, and I thought, that's probably not good for a therapist. Poor manhunt didn't get on the app bandwagon fast no. enough. Luke. <laughs> <laughs> All the same apps everyone else is on. Why should I give them free <laughs> advertising? There's a bunch. I don't really like any of them. And yet, nevertheless, nevertheless she persisted. Having a, a common vocabulary? Having a shared life experience, we've all had to navigate the world and the entertainment industry as openly LGBTQ people. And we all can relate to each other in that way. Years ago, Hollywood allowed so few openly LGBTQ people to succeed that there was this very unfair sense of competition among each other because there was such limited space available. At, which wasn't our fault, that was Hollywood's fault. That was really straight people's fault. I do think things are really evolving and changing now. More of us are getting more opportunities. Oof, that's mm. a good question. There are a handful kind of that happened around the same time. Seeing Madonna's dancers in Truth or Dare, the documentary she released, I was a huge Madonna fan as a kid, still am. They were gay, the majority of them and they show them going to the gay pride parade in New York, they're making out with each other, they're very confidently gay, openly gay, sexual, and very free. They weren't the first, but they had an impact. Also, Norm on the first season of The Real World, MTV, that was also amazing. The Real World always had gay guys on, and that was Oh, something I always followed very closely. I was a latchkey kid. I used to let myself home and turn on the TV and uh, watch Donahue like you do. And Donahue had the Chippendale dancers on once. And I sure thought they were great. <laughs> Thank you. Everyone go see Bros only in theaters September 30th.